You was dating this cat. Mm-hmm. You got married to this man. Mm-hmm. And you did not know he had kids. I didn't know he had children at all, let alone four children. How? Was a dick lean that good? So I felt very disrespected by that question. It's not your typical dating show. It's not, it's not the 20-year-olds. It's not the people that are just jump, just getting their life started. These are people who have been in the life game for a minute. We're talking about mid-30s, 40s, late 40s. We've even tipped 50 before. And um, these are people who have been in relationships in the past, been married, things didn't go right. These are also people that have been uh, career-driven to the point where they are so focused on, on their careers. They have not taking the time to find that one key thing that they're missing in their lives. And that's love, man. They want to find it. You know, there's no prize. There's no, there's no uh, house. There's no, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to pay for your wedding and all of that. It's, it is, you found love. And then you just start That's actually at the end of the journey is when the real journey actually starts. Because now, you know, once they leave me and, and we've already done 10, 11 weeks, now it's time for you to take that walk by yourself with no cameras, no lights, and let's see how, how you guys hold on together. So listen, we are in Fort Worth. They say this is where the West begins. Mm. But on this season of Ready to Love, I'm gonna say, this is where love began. Okay. 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 These are people that are, are calling in the middle of the day, Tommy, I got to pick my, my son up and drop him off at practice, then I'll be there. You're getting the real deal. You're getting what's really going on, you know? So I, I like that, hey, I couldn't get off work early, but, you know, um, if, if y'all will wait on me, I'm coming. I love it. I love the fact that their lives don't, don't stop. I don't want to give you, you're over here on this resort for... 60 days, and then then by the time I throw you back into the real world, it doesn't work because guess what? You haven't been practicing that. So for the last 20 some years, I have been on the um, on the radio, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, uh, with my uncle, and and a lot of people when they find that out, they're like, "No, get out of here." Yes, come. I tune in, catches every morning. I am uh, uh, known for amazing prank phone calls. I have over 300 plus of them, and I am cutting some new ones right now. But get ready, because my pranks are, uh, are their signature. I had no earthly idea I'd be 50-something years old, but still playing on the phone. That's crazy.